Right now it has a 3 on it, so I'm going to want it to be a 1. So I'm just going to go with the sequence button right here, the data command switch, and you'll see it goes up. If it hit the arrow to go up, or it will go down with the arrow to go down. Now remember to change anything up here you need to be on the standby mode so I wanted to make it a one so here you go here to the number one hit it now it's a one and you work it the same way enter and you go down to the second one these little um, abbreviations are I don't know if you can see it is a B and a K I'm sorry a Q it will be burst quantity the second one is a BI burst intervals the third one is an SQ which is salvo quantity and the fourth one is an SI which is salvo intervals so once again you surf through those with the data command switch up or down so I'm gonna make my burst interval just leave it the same 0.5 seconds in between them and I'm gonna do my salvo quantity uh, let's make it go back to one so I'm gonna hit the arrow down and go to one there it is now it's one and I hit enter and the uh, salvo interval is leave it the same Two seconds in between them so that's it let's program that and see what it does so you're gonna go on freeze this but remember because you were programming this you're still on standby mode so you have to go back down and select manual mode otherwise it's not gonna work and it's gonna deploy any chat so let's go outside and see if it works. So there's a chaff. It's gonna drop one chaff. Now let's go to the flare with the sequence button. And it says flare zero. So that actually coincides with what we have. Let's say I wanna buy I wanna do just one. Go to number one hit it enter now you had it set go back down go to manual and go outside and see how it works there you go even though the computer says chop and flare is only dropping one when I hit the key Also, if you want to change the program frequency, you can see your program one. You go to your steer point arrows and just click the one above or the one down to go to your program two, program three, program four. And you can see what all the different programs have. So that's what the four has programmed into. You can edit that one too. You can edit number three. You can edit number four. So you surf to your programs with the um, up and down arrows on your ICP. Alright, so it's time to show you how to evade an incoming missile. So uh, here we go. You are in your F-16, you're in your IP point, and we're just gonna follow the procedures and how to get this aircraft prepare for battle. So first check the your threat warning system is on. It's on, it's searching, it's getting some activity. Set up the counter matches that you want. So I'm gonna set up manual number four and you have sixty shaft and thirty flares. They're on 
your RWR is on and your jammer is activated so you have to turn it on so go to there and with J now it's on there's a lot of missiles out there but here's just a few samples of the um, missiles that you encounter during your missions now this is an SA6 SAM gainful these guys can go up to 30 kilometers away from the source site and they can have speeds up to 3,000 miles per hour. So if you do the math, calculating the speed of these missiles, they will reach you in about 16 seconds. So you will have about 16 seconds to maneuver and try to avoid this missile. The first one is the command guided radar missile. This one are fire while the shooter radar tracks the target and sends guidance commands to the missile. The other one is the semi-active radar missiles. These missiles use reflected radar energy to guide them on the target. The shooter tracks the target with a constant wave radar beam. This adds a spotlight that lights up the target for the missile to see. Just remember the ground have a higher frequency than your jet. So the lower you are to the ground, the better. So I'm gonna put them on my nine or three o'clock. Because I'm not gonna fire at them. I should already fire at them, but I just want them to engage so I can show you how they evasive maneuvers will be. There we go. Now let me pause it for a little bit. So now we're gonna go to four, I mean to three, which is your 3D view. And my threat warning system is telling me that this guy just fired. So it's around 11. So just tilt your head over there and hit number four and there it is I don't know if you can see it it's inside the cockpit hold on is that red dot right there that is tracking the missile coming at you so what you're gonna do it's I'm gonna go outside I shouldn't but I just wanna show you what you're supposed to do you're gonna fire a set of flares when you go up and a set of flares when you go down and you will keep doing that until the missile is gone so here we go you gotta go down you gotta go up hopefully it won't hit you there he comes. And there goes the missile. So the missile just went by you. There he goes. And you successfully defeated your first missile. So that's basically how you do it. If you follow your instruments, you'll be fine. There was the other one over there. And I guess that's it, my man. I will not unpause it because I'm under fire. Your next tutorial will be Air Combat Maneuvers, ACM. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and fly safe.